Hi everyone and welcome to this new series of practice problems about DC DC motors. Okay, so in this question we have a separately excited motor. What do we mean by separately excited? It means that the field winding is excited by one voltage source and the armature is uh, also excited by a different voltage source. So this is what we call separately excited. Now, here we have a constant field current. So, IF is constant. What does this mean? It means that the flux is constant, doesn't change in this question. And we have a constant speed. The speed is given to us at 3000 RPM. The motor consumes at the input side. So, PN of the motor is equal to 15 15 kilowatt. So that is how much power it is consuming. And this is at a terminal voltage VT is equal to 125 volt. Now we are given the armature resistance. We want to find the following armature current, back EMF, power developed at the armature, and the torque developed at the armature as well. So that's what we want to find. Okay, so Pn is basically equal to Vt times Ia. So from this, you can find that your Ia is equal to Pn divided by Vt. So Pn is equal to 15 times 10 to the power 3 divided by Vt, which is 125 volt. And this will give me a total current equal to 120. 20 amp. So this is my armature current. Okay, this is the armature current. Then we want to find the back EMF. Now, if we apply simple KVL to this loop, and this is your IA, so your EB or EA doesn't really matter. The back EMF is equal to VT minus the voltage drop, which is IA times RA. Your VT is equal to 125 minus IA 120 times 0 0.02, and this will give me a total voltage equal to 122.6 volt. So this is my, my back EMF. This is the voltage that will counter the uh, V terminal and developed during the rotational of the armature in the in the field so it will be have a opposite polarity than the original voltage source which is v vt then we want to find the power developed p developed now p developed is basically pn minus p electrical losses but since we don't know if or RF, then we cannot find the electrical losses. But P developed also equal to the back EMF times IA. And we have both values. So this is this EB is equal to basically 122.6 times the IA and the I already found, which is 120. And this will give me a total power equal to 14.7 kilowatt and of course this power has to be less than the input power if you do any uh, mathematical error all of us can do mathematical errors okay if you found that this is higher than the input power this cannot be so you for sure you will know that you have done a, a mathematical mistake so this p developed has to be always less than the pn now if i ask you in the question find the electrical losses it will be basically 15 kilowatt minus 14.7, which is 0.3 kilowatt. But in this question, we don't ask you to find. Then we want to find the torque developed at the armature. Okay, so the torque developed at the armature is equal T times omega, the mechanical power is equal to the P developed. Okay, we have different power. We have P out, we have PN, uh, we have P developed. So the torque can be the torque at the developed stage or at the output power stage. So it depends where you ask for the uh, your torque, you need to use the correct power. 
So since I want to find the torque at the armature, it will be the we have to use the P developed. So from this, your torque is equal to PD divided by omega. Now we know PD, which is 14.7 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by omega. Now what we know, we know the speed in RBM, 3000. We have to convert the RBM to uh, radian per second so for omega. So this we have to multiply it by 2 pi divided by by 60. It's a conversion. And when you do that, you will find that your torque is 46.82 newton newton meter.